I think it's the 16th of March. Yeah. Good morning. I am walking to go get my breakfast. Well, my tea. No. No, um. No donut or anything. <laughs> I am back on my workout regimen because as you can see well I don't know if you can see if you can't see but <laughs> it's better the weather is getting better the first day of spring is on Wednesday so you know and then I saw a picture of myself um, I was going through my Instagram and I saw a picture of myself working out and my legs and my legs is one of my favorite parts of my body so you know I love pom pom shorts so <laughs> My legs was on point, Nassim. But yeah, so um, today is the first day of the rest of my life. Okay. Oh, I wanted to talk about that scandal episode that everybody was all up rave about. I mean, I didn't like the episode. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't think it was all the rave that everybody was giving the praise of. I mean, y'all making videos about it, y'all. Come on. It wasn't that. I don't know. Shonda to me, Shonda to me needs to stick to Olivia Pope and Fritz. You wanna know why? That's what we tuned in for. That's what was juicy. You know, if she stuck with that story but still twisted it, that's what I tuned in for. I'm sorry, but this whole kidnapping and then what killed me about the kidnapping is you're Olivia fucking Pope. Why are you such a pussy? I mean, let me just say, guns in your face, come on, whatever. But you, your father, it was the leader of B6613, the fuck ever, you know. Your man is Jake. Your president, you, you roll with, with fucking Huck. Why are you scared? <sighs> Such a stupid, um, angle. Um, but yeah, I didn't like that whole fucking episode about the boy getting shot. It wasn't realistic. It tried to be. She tried her best. But to me it wasn't. So and she to me she gave the white people too much time, too much of an explanation. Like she gave them time to explain themselves, like to give them side. To give their sides, I should say. With that long fucking speech from the cops. We didn't need that. There was no side for them. They killed the boy. <laughs> they killed somebody's baby and they continue to kill people's babies so what the fuck crazy thing about vlogging in Brooklyn especially Flatbush <sighs> the people the way they stare at you you have a camera in your hand I know I look weird but I don't give a fuck <laughs> clearly anyhow so yeah that's what I wanted to say about scandal but I'm coming up on my coffee shop And one thing about me vlogging in Brooklyn and the certain stores, I don't like taking my camera into their stores because they, I think their initial reaction is to say no, no filming, no filming, even in like the tiniest fucking stores. I don't know what the fuck they hiding. And I don't feel like cursing nobody out. So I'll see y'all. I think I'm going to walk through the park today because it's nice. I may not. Okay. I'll see you guys. I'll do a full circle because there's runners over there like on the track where the traffic is see them running but there's usually so many more of them let's go I love Prospect Park I love walking through Prospect Park um, I mean I just it's me I guess I like to be by myself so I listen to the radio. Speaking of that, do you know what song I hate? Tell me what song annoys you in the comments. Like, that plays so much, that you hear it so much that it annoys the shit out of you. This song I hate, or whatever song you hate. I hate Usher. Shuddy, I don't mind. It's playing right now on Hot 97. If you work on a pole. Now shout out to all the strippers, cause I really don't mind if you work on a pole. 
but I hate the fucking song. Like, Usher. I think I'm gonna have to make you go to sleep again. I remember I used to tell my friends, Usher needs to go and sleep. And then he came out with another album and it was Usher. Usher needs to realize that he's not Chris Brown in them. He's Usher. So sing some love songs to us. Make our panties wet. And, you know, Jeez. Okay, guys, let's have breakfast together. Ooh, here's my tea. Uh, Kendrick Lamar dropped a new album today. Can't wait for that because I'm a big fan of Kendrick Lamar. I wasn't a fan before the um, Good Kid, Bad City album, but Wayne Summers made me listen to some of his mixtapes from before. Um, yeah, he's a revolutionary. I like Kendrick, except for the whole defendant Iggy because. I'm not down with Iggy Azalea. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so, but yeah, I really was offended when he defended her. I hate when to see black men defend this white bitch like she's the saver of fucking. Ugh. Anyhow, um, and I hate to see black women celebrate with her like she's down. She ain't down. She's stealing. Anyhow, don't let me get. You know, let me get all upset because that that topic pisses me off. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for the album. But anyhow, what else can we talk about? Let's talk about Empire, right? Because I just sleep. I never watch when it's on. So I love Empire. I love Cookie. Of course, we all love Cookie, I love Empire, I love Malcolm, oh my god. My whole vagina gets wet when he comes on the screen. TMI, I know. You know me already, right? So, and if you don't, welcome to my channel. I'm a insane, crazy person. So, um, what else was I saying? I mean, I love everybody on this show. That's what's crazy. Except for Raven, motherfucking Simone. Is it me or... Raven Simone is no longer cute to me. Like, she's not attractive. She's not cute. I mean, when she puts on makeup, and like, when someone does her makeup and she's doing a photo shoot, of course, because, you know, they dress up really nice. They put on really good makeup. They airbrush the fuck out of it. So it's pretty. But... She herself is unattractive to me. And even when she was on The Real, and I don't watch The Real, but she it was on. And you want to know why I don't watch The Real? The show is called The Real, and they're not real to me. Isn't that ridiculous? Anyhow. Um, and you can't have a show called The Real and everybody wearing weaves. Ugh. Get the fuck out of here. And then they're going to say, like, they're going to say, well, we can't do this to my hair every day. I can't flatten my hair every day, and, and, and it's hard for my natural hair, so I wear a wig, bitch. I wear, I can wear my hair out. I can, go, I can work. I can work at a, um, at a high demand job like that, like a talk show. I can be a talk show host and do my own natural hair myself every day and be fabulous. So that's an excuse to me. And I, or I, I can hire a black stylist to come work with me on the show and you never know you can start turning everyone in that show natural well the black girls but these women don't do that these women just put their weave on and go about their business and trust me I don't want you to die because you wear weaves I have always had to say that because just like white people I have a problem with certain white people I was reading a comment and they were like this is so rambly I was reading a comment and they were like just because I'm pro, poor, I'm poor black. Just because I'm pro, pro black, they were saying just because I'm pro black doesn't mean I'm anti white, and that's some completely me, right? So I'm not completely anti the women that wear the weaves. I just don't want you guys to wear them. <laughs> like I don't, I don't want you to. Like you know, there's certain things I'm not gonna push, but I will say, especially if you're my friend. We, I can make it, we can go natural. But I do believe that every girl can't pull off natural hair because they don't want it. They don't, they don't want to work on it. They don't want to do anything like that. So let them wear their weaves. 
But you know, when you tell me you can't wear your weave because you don't have the grade of hair that you like, or not wear your weave, you can't wear your natural hair because you don't like the grade of hair that you have, or it's too much work, then that's just excuses. Don't you hate when you're by yourself and then someone comes and ruins it? That fucker right there. And yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying now because he completely, I'm going to show you him. I'm sitting here and here he comes standing mad close to me. He's over there now, but standing mad close. Like, who does that? It's just like when you're in the train and you're mad seats, but someone will come sit next to you. Get the fuck out of here. I get up and move. Fuck you. What the fuck you sitting next to me for? Anyhow, what I was saying? I don't know. Weaves. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to go now because it's getting real lively. Okay, so I just started watching the season three of House of Cards because I wanted it to die down a little bit. You know, all the frenzy. I don't like to watch stuff when everybody else is watching it. Um, not that I just want to be different. I'm trying to be different. It's just people are so hype. Ugh, just like that episode of Scandal that I was talking about. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Oh my God, Shonda. You did such a good job, Shonda. You did such a good job. You really... Oh, God. Ugh. Some people just have nothing to do, I guess. Because I didn't know what was the point. <laughs> Anyhow. But House of Cards, I love, love, love political, political dramas, political shows. I've always loved that since I was in junior high school, high school, like the West Wing and stuff like that. Um, so... I love House of Cards. I love Kevin Spacey. I love Robin Wright. Wright. I love... I think I love everyone on the show. Except for the crazy motherfucker squirting. Fucking bourbon in his mouth in a fucking syringe. What the fuck? Anyhow. So if you like political dramas, check out House of Cards, of course. I'm sure you heard of House of Cards. It's on Netflix. Um, it's probably one of the best... Netflix original series. There's another one too that I love called The Peaky Blinders. That's a brilliant show I love also. Um, that's a Netflix original. Um, it's all about like gangsters back in the day. Like it's a cool show. I don't I know. Well, it does have black people on it, but you know what I mean? Love shows like that also. I love the fashion on that show, the suits. Ooh. The tweed, mm, nice. Um, and yeah, those are shows I'm watching. I love talking to you guys, you know, <laughs> about stuff. I love when the weather gets nice and I can do my walk with me videos because I can talk to you guys. You know, I'm an only child, so I really don't share my feelings. <laughs> the only person I probably share my feelings with is Wayne Summers. But, yeah. Excuse me. But I like talking to you guys. Maybe one day I'll come and tell you guys how I'm really feeling about life. Maybe I should actually do that because, you know, with the state of depression, especially in the, in, um, the natural hair community, with us losing so many girls, by suicide um, I encourage you if you're devastated um, and you need someone to talk to send me an email you know and I'll do the same I will come and I'll talk to you guys because just like how I came to you guys with my to help with my son 
listen, I'm coming to you guys for help about anything because you guys are like family and you guys talk to me gives me the encouragement that my own family doesn't so I appreciate you guys and I love you guys for that so and trust me I got family but I don't got no family okay <laughs> I don't got no mama I mean she's alive and everything but she's a bitch so yeah so yeah because most of the time I'm full-blown depressed about life because that gonna be have to be a separate video <laughs> but I have to come to you guys I like I can't talk about it now I have to actually t do the video when I'm feeling depressed like the lowest and I like at my wits end and Wayne Summers has to be like it's all right <laughs> you'll be fine and the thing about me the thing about me is I don't like to show my emotions but that doesn't necessarily mean like when I put up pictures on Instagram of me being happy or when I come on camera and be happy that doesn't mean I'm not happy because I usually try to think positive try I try my best to think positive so if everything is going wrong I always tell myself the, the universe if you're nice the universe will be nice to you so I try to be as nice as possible trust me I'm still a bitch I don't apologize for it but and I still have my smart mouth I don't apologize for that either but I'm still a nice person so all that road but you decide you're gonna run there fucking idiot all this road right here, look. All this road on this side. This bitch gonna run on this side. What the fuck? Anyhow, see? See? I can be as nice as possible, but I will flip into crazy bitch in two seconds, okay? Anyhow. But yeah. I'm most of the time depressed. Just about my life. Just about my position in my life. And... You know, but I'm trying to stay positive because President Obama, shout out to President Obama, he did something for all us immigrants, okay? So, yes I am, I'm an immigrant motherfucker, <laughs> and I ain't ashamed to say it either. I should make a video about that because nobody talks about that. Especially with West Indians, like when people think about immigration struggles, even in the news when they think about when you think about immigration struggles and they do a story they always put up like spanish people but there's a lot of other people that have to deal with fucking immigration issues especially in the west indian fucking community and one thing about the west indian community they would rather act like they got it and i'm sure we have that in common with a lot of other communities but they would rather act like they got it than to actually tell the truth and say no I don't have it, I don't know, and I mean it by papers, your green card, your social security number, or valid ID. They don't, they would rather act like they do than to say they don't or to ask for help in how to get it, you know? So, my, my mother brought me here, my mother came here, she didn't have any papers, no green card, no none of that. But that's a whole different story because that bitch left me. <laughs> So, but maybe I should make a video about that because no one else talks about it and I've never been ashamed of it. <laughs> so, even my mother, my mother's that person. My mother's that person to, I remember one time I told my uncle, my uncle wanted to take me somewhere and I was like, no, no, no. I remember one day I told my uncle, um, my mother's uncle something about the immigration and she's like why you have to tell him that she's one of those women like even to family she's one of those women one of those people that have to fake you know and I can't if you ask me I always say I don't volunteer information but if you ask me a question I'm gonna answer it I'm gonna tell you the truth you know what I'm saying so 
thumbs up this video. Hey, look at me. Thumbs up this video. If you want me to do all those other videos, the immigration video, because I know there's a lot of um, West Indian girls that watch me, West Indian people that watch me. Um, and also, thumbs up if you want me to do the video about my my mom and our relationship. I mean, these is all videos that I want to do anyway because I feel like I'm not alone. Especially the one about my mother because just because you squeeze the baby out your pussy don't make you a mother, okay? So, and we don't have a very good relationship, so. And I know a lot of people out there probably don't have good relationships with their mother. I think this will be the end of the vlog because I got 18 minutes. And I'm about to go to public transportation. So good talking to you guys. Shout out to all the dogs barking in the background. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Now something's wrong with the computer, so I don't know when I'm gonna get to edit these vlogs, but Wayne Summers is working on it. Oh my god, walking in mud. Anyhow, see you guys later. Don't forget to get food.